Ross Jennings and this is Waffle TV sponsored by West Beer. This afternoon we're here with Nish Huma. Hello! And how's it being back at the Fringe this year? It's good, it's good. This is my uh, second solo show but it's mm -hmm. my eighth year in total at the Fringe because I've been coming here since I was a student. Love Edinburgh, love the city, love it. Absolutely familiar. love it. <laughs> yeah, familiar, love the kebab shops. I love shops. everything about Edinburgh. <laughs> How the kebab, kebab shops compared to downtown? Oh, they're, they're, this is the best. This is the best. Here. There's Palmyra again. Okay, if they want to come over there, I would happily just wear all my clothes with pal I'd wear a Palmyra kebab <laughs> on stage, just covering my genitals and arse. And uh, that, that would be, I'd be happy to do that if they can arrange that. I don't know if uh, you could arrange that. We, we could try to. Maybe for one of your shows. Get them up on stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And how, how have you all previous ones have all your shows? Uh, they've been good. Been nice. Yeah, they've been good. The first two shows have been uh, have been nice actually. It was um, good reception. Yeah, compared to last year. Or yeah, I mean, I guess it's too early to tell how it's going to play shoot. out because um, it's only we're only two days in. But the shows have gone gone over pretty well. Um, no walkouts yet, so you know, without, I mean, it'll happen, but <laughs> yet hopefully not. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Now, um, last year's your, your sort of solo debut at the Fringe. Now, how, how have you come on, developed from obviously the response to everything that happened last year and over the year? And is that now, is that the, the, the con what your content is based on this year? Uh, well, it's been an interesting thing because like, the first year we had like four, you know, I've been doing stand up for four or five years. Yeah. Now, so it was the best of everything that I've, that I've ever done. So then this year I had to kind of turn it around in 12 months. Okay. It's the first time I've done that. But I enjoyed it. I thought it was, it was actually really good fun because and, yeah. you're just a better comedian. And you, I, I, one of the things I've noticed this year is I'm quicker at identifying something that's shit. Okay. Like, are we like picking up? Yeah, yeah, you can. You like. Fuck balls. Um, <laughs> we, you got get, you got to use the opportunity if it's. I won't use the c word. That's yeah. probably not that. Um, but yeah, otherwise, um, you, I've got identified bad material faster. Yeah. Which you will just. Yeah, but I think you, because I think you you just get better at spotting what might work and what. You still can never go. That's going to hundred percent work, or that's not going to work. Yeah. It's not absolutes in that way. But you start having more of an instinct for. I think this could be something. This could be something we yeah. work with. This. Have you ever balls up completely? Like you've gone down. And be like, yeah, like yeah. all the time. Okay. How do you cover that up? You do, you, you stand you stop there stop and just stew in your own failure. Right. There's a, <laughs> just a moment where you realise, you know, there is a point where you just realise like, this is going really badly and I've ruined a lot of people's evenings. <laughs> and so there is like always that moment where you just go, yeah, no, this is, this is bad. This is really bad. Um, I don't really, because there's no way of escaping it. Is if, there, you, if, you, if your gig is going badly, you're contractually obliged to be there for 20 minutes more. And you're just like, look, I, don't, I can't get paid without staying here. And, and what will you do? Will you, will, you, will you acknowledge it? Will you just be like, okay, ooh, turning around? No, you, you do on. your best to not acknowledge it. Okay. And then you try everything. You try maybe chatting to the audience. Yeah. And if that, that doesn't work, at the end of the day, you can just go, look. Take the piss out of someone. Yeah, you try that, but at the end of the day, you can just go, listen, guys, you didn't enjoy it. I didn't enjoy it. I don't like you. You have an even lower opinion of me, clearly. Uh, there's sometimes where it just, just goes wrong. And the, the content of your show this year is quite topical. Uh, so I did race and identity, especially recently with sort of um, issues with racial profiling and whatnot. Yeah, I mean, well, I, you know, I, I wish I could say that it was that prescient <coughs> when I was coming up with the idea. Yeah. Really, the show is about my face. Okay. Because my face got turned into an internet meme last yes. year by some weirdos on the internet. This weird phenomenon. Yeah, it's a really strange thing. My poster got taken and used as a meme called the Confused Muslim. Yeah. And so that happened in September and I was just sitting there going, well, I guess that's this year's show sorted. And has, that, has, has that vended you or you're using that? Well, the whole hour is me unpacking my feelings about it. It takes me a long time to express myself. Yeah. So I always feel that you should really take as much time as you can. So it's from the heart. Yeah. 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 But would you find there's some sort of like emotional distance with 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 what you're saying? Well, it is very very personal. All these things. No, it's very personal. There's really no there's really no sort of emotional. Okay. I'm really just vomiting out some thoughts that I should have probably kept to yeah. myself a lot of time. <laughs> this, that's really how I feel about my stand-up. A lot of it is just a man oversharing. And it, it didn't annoy you at first, is it? It it's did annoy me. Like, you're, 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 not, you're not a Muslim. Uh, it's, it, it did annoy me, but it didn't annoy me. The Muslim thing isn't what annoyed yeah. me about it. I think, I, that, so the whole show is me trying to trace what that could be. Cause I don't, like, the I source don't of where people, Muslim. how do people think this and why do they react yeah, this what way? Yeah, what does it, you know, what, what, it's difficult for me to explain this without just doing my whole show. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it is that just that thing of 
why has this happened? Yeah. And why am I upset by it? And why me? Yeah. Yeah, why me? <laughs> why always me? I'm the Mario Balotelli of <laughs> stand up comedy. And you are, remind us again where you're from, you are in the Guild, is it the Guild of Balloon? Uh, no, I'm in the Underbelly. Bristow Underbelly. Square. Underbelly Bristow Square at 10 past 8. Ross Jennings from Waffle TV, sponsored by West Beer. Yeah.